Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House, where we talk about all this crazy, crazy stuff. You know, you would think that we, especially those of us who understand the, the game of um, divide and conquer, you would think that most of us will have it by now, and that the beast that walks among us could not, um, um, uh, we, we wouldn't fall into the trap of self-hatred. We will work every day of our lives to get out of the mindset of a slave because that's all we are. That's all we've been performing like a lot of us, slaves, okay, who haven't learned a lesson and think because we got a little money, we better than the rest of the slaves especially with our sports stars. I mean, the whole setup, the whole matrix is so damn crazy. Now you got grown people. Kenneth Petty got to participate in a home detention program for up to 120 days per a court order um, uh, uh, because he made threatening remarks against Offset online. Now, anybody know Offset from the group of Migos who just lost a family member not even a year ago? And you still are. You ain't learned nothing. See, a good slave die hard. See, and a lot of us going to die hard because we just don't get it. I mean, you would think after somebody just got their loved one murdered. I know how I feel. Um, and the last thing I want to be on uh, is threatening somebody. It don't got nothing to do with if I'm a punk or if I'm scary or anything. And we so weak that we fall into all of this. You know, the one page document from the judge states, Mr. Petty was recorded on video making threatening remarks towards a specific individual while in the company of someone with a criminal record. This recent violation conduct raises concerns over Mr. Petty's willingness to comply with the court orders. No, he ain't willing to. And unfortunately, a lot of people wait. And a lot of people think that they are, um, you know, privileged to act just like white folk. Um, and the sad part about it is, it ain't going to work for you. About a week ago, Kenneth Petty was trending on social media. And I know this is an old story, pretty much as far as y'all see it. But I'm just looking at the, the nuance of it. Because here's a, a week later, you got, you, uh, uh, you got Quavo going to D.C. talking about gun violence. And that's the one everybody accused of setting his cousin up. One of the men claimed on the report, on the uh, video, that they wanted uh, to come at him at the VMAs and also name drop offset asking, where you at? I mean, these brothers, I ain't, ain't going to call them brothers. I'm just going to call them these young men are way too old to be playing this game. So you old men. This is some teenage type of shit. Excuse my French. This is not the kind of behavior for grown ass men. In any meanwhile, let me finish this. Mean Petty was looking directly in the camera and he said, Plan playing on that vacation, you gonna be playing at your funeral, nigga. Ears always to the streets on everything. Let's play. What's up? Petty also added that nobody was hiding. I mean, on put. let's just take this little conversation right here and put it on the scale of the universe and tell me what it weighs. Because where I'm sitting at, it don't even weigh a point zero. To waste my time, my life on some stupid, stupid, stupid stuff like this. And this is what we're doing now. This is what we've been doing. Because a puppet master got you just where he wants you. A fool. 
grown ass men still acting like little boys in middle school or a, 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 or elementary school want to fight. Want to fight. Then you got Nicki Minaj and 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 uh, Cardi B who've been beefing ever since uh, Nicki smelled uh, her on her heels. Not being wise enough to understand that's how the music business play. They're always looking for the new best thing for you because you get uppity and you got too much money. So we got to, in other words, that's okay, but we got to bring in the next best thing to keep you on your toes and give them the money, create a divide and conquer environment. So now you will hate Cardi B and they, now y'all beef two women on dumb shit. Nikki, I don't understand this. I don't understand it. Just like I don't understand the switch with you and Remy Ma. I just don't understand it. Those of y'all that understand what I mean, y'all get it. Those of y'all who don't, don't even worry about it. This is uh, insane. Grown ass men. Offset seemingly responded with a selfie of him exiting a private jet while laughing. Ah, uh, y'all niggas broke. Y'all niggas, I mean, and that's what all y'all can do. Because y'all ain't got nothing else. And what you gonna do when a dollar crash and a dollar ain't worth shit? Then what you gonna do? What is gonna be your MO at that point? When the dollar crashes. I mean. That's why. I'm not, I ain't trying to be funny. But this is why. This behavior. Is, is negative. Uh, Offset did not name Kenneth nor his crew. In his alleged clip. He was later filmed in an excited state at Deion Sanders to show support for the Colorado's coach, Buffalo's team. And see, to be honest with you, Deion want to be supported, but I don't think he want to be supported by thuggery. And I think at this point, we didn't forgot how to act. We didn't forgot how it is to just be normal. We carry this moniker of thug and I'm all hard and I'm harder than you. We wear that like a badge of honor. And that's what's getting us killed. Really. Really. And it's all so stupid to me. It's just all so stupid. So this guy done got himself on a 120 day house arrest for being ignorant. Petty's probation officer, Natasha. Mingo is the federal official who presented the report to the judge on Kenneth's recent conduct and attitude. On July 6th, Judge Fitzgerald or Petty to serve three years of supervision after he failed to register as a sex offender in California in 2019. By March 2020, Petty had registered, which can be seen here. The registry requirement is Related to a 1994 attempted rape of attempted rape of Jennifer Hall. I mean, it, it, and Nikki, this is how where well, your self esteem is at. Huh? Who personally, that would be one I would have to pass on. I don't give a damn how long I've known. You. But that's just me. Anyway, I, I really feel bad. And I really wish y'all get yourself together. Because you live by the sword again. You're going to die by the sword. And ain't nobody so big and so bad that they can't be put down. I wish y'all would realize that. That's what happened with Park. But those who don't remember the past are condemned to repeat it. So tell me what y'all think about it. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't know. And, you know, look, I need y'all to uh, uh, 
get these likes up. You know, I need y'all to respond on the video. Give me some interaction. Let me know you ain't dead. And that you didn't put on your best outfits and lay down in the casket. Just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. It don't really matter. Just engage. Let me know you there. I would really, really appreciate it. Let's get them likes up. Let's get them likes up. Let's get them likes up. With that being said, if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.